Hi everybody, Robert here with Inventor Training today. Uh, a while back we stopped off on this U bracket, so now we want to set up a drawing. So from our drop down menu just here, we want to select drawing. And then our sheet opens up. And note that the graphics window appears on the screen here. We can switch between solid model drawings by clicking the Explorer's bounty windows. So here now we'll go and just have a look here at our sheet. And the sheet sheet size is in the sheet browser. So what we do next here is we want to go to our manage tab and select on our manage. And then we want to select our styles editor here. So now, last, okay, now here's our styles editor. And here, what we have is this dialog box will open up. And here, over here, we have our local styles here. You can select. And here we have our standard selection here. So if I select that, So I think we're going to go here with Active Standard here for this one. And let's see. And then we'll select our default standard ANSI1. And then we'll go into our View Preferences here. And we want to select the... Yep, we want to select the default thread, and we want to select the third angle projection here. Okay, now once that's done, well, we'll choose default ASNI again here, and we'll just uh, save and close this for now. <clears throat> So here, now in this dialog box, this even has our dimension, so we can select our dimension here, and we'll select the default ANSI dimension. And then we'll save these edits, we'll say yes here. And okay, so then we'll go here into our text tab. It's so all very important to know how to set this up. Uh, once it's done, once it's done, I think. And here, these are all settings. Um, these look good. Text ANSI one, and we got the others here. So, and then we have here. We want to use the primary text style. And then at this point, I want to just cancel this because all these look good for now. And then now we'll go into our, we want to use a predefined drawing sheet format. So these drawings are already predefined. So here now I want to go into my drawing browser uh, and click on the arrow here. So I want to go here where my sheet resource, drawing resources are. And then here we'll see sheet formats. And inside the browser, we want to double click on the B size to view. And we'll click OK. So there's my, um, there's our tool, our design, our U bracket, but shift it over to the side. But you can just simply move it over here, just drag it like so. So now we have created, uh, that's our B size drawing, I think. Well, let's go do another one now. Just, let's go into our drawing bracket here. And let's do a C size full view. I'm gonna right click, new sheet. 
Okay. So now this one has the four views in it. So I'm going to adjust this again. Not sure why it's not. Must have one of the settings wrong here. And there's our four view sheet. Okay, so now um, so yeah, I'm trying to see what happened there. I might have to go back and fix some things, but I think that's okay for now since we're just learning this. So now let's go into our drawing browser once again here since we have this sheet set up. Um, and let me see, so we can go now and let's have a look at the drum browser on the sheet three. So this is our sheet three. So these are our different sheets that we have here. So that's one, that's two, and this is three. So right now, uh, I'm going to delete sheet three. So select it here, right click and delete this guy. Hit OK. So that's deleted. So now we only have sheet one and sheet two here. So let's right click on sheet one now. Let's select sheet one and right click here. And let's activate sheet one. Now sheet one is activated here. Now on our drawing browser here, we'll right click here and we'll select edit sheet. So let's right click here and let's edit this sheet. So now here we can change the C size. So let's change this to a size B. And as you can see, I'm going to say OK here. And this will be in landscape. And we'll go OK. And as you can see, the sheet size is smaller. It's just by itself. So now, um, in this, in this um, sheet that we just created now, are we editing this sheet one over? So. Um, we want to click on views here, place views, and here we want to click on the base view. So the base view is always where we begin. So that's our base view. And as you can see, we're in our front view. We'll say OK. And we can just move this over here. Actually, I want to go back. I'm going to step back because I want to change the scale here. And you might want to do that, so I will go base, and in this dialog box is at half inch. Let's go with one to one, and there's our base view, and we'll say OK, and we can just bring that over to here. We can just drag it over, and now um, once you have your base view placed in your drawing you can just go and create create projected views and that's just simply select here where it says projection and there's our top view and now once you place those views you have to say create and there's our views so I just want to show you how to set up these sheets very simple um, a quick exercise of setting up our sheet. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video for Inventor Training. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next time. We'll look at annotations in this one as well in the next video. So thanks again, and bye.